And as he of Laredo joins us now with a brief chat on the latest issues affecting Laredo. Hi, Mayor. Good hey, afternoon. Good to see you all. <laughs> good to see you too. And you know, we were talking a little bit ago about what is plaguing Mexico. All of those killings have just been horrific. It is really incredible. I think it's a continued battle between different uh, cartels. But when you talk about 49 uh, mutilated bodies uh, being found, really, we really don't know yet exactly. Uh, it's going to be difficult for IDing these bodies. Some that are missing fingers. They were beheaded. I mean, they were terribly mutilated. About uh, a few miles outside of uh, Monterrey, uh, on the route to Reynosa, uh, it is horrible. And I know that. Mexico has braced itself to fight the cartels and this ugly, ugly violence, and it continues to yeah. plague the country of Mexico. Do you think there will ever come a time when we might have U.S. soldiers going in there as we do in Iraq or Afghanistan? Well, that would or? be very difficult. First of all, any help that would be asked would be asked from the Mexican government to the United States. I don't know if the case of military forces would ever be welcome, especially right now you're in the middle of an election which is very, very sensitive. And Mexico has always been very careful about its sovereignty. So it's a uh, plaguing problem. And I think that obviously uh, uh, people continue uh, to worry. And, and obviously here on our side, uh, we have to continue to monitor and uh, uh, go through the intelligence, make sure that our forces are prepared for any spillover. Obviously, our uh, police department and all the law enforcement agencies, with numbers about four or 5,000, are already on alert to make sure that if there's any problems, they will react. We have a great uh, professional law enforcement community that's working together, that's bonding together, and that's what's really a key for uh, this side of the border. You know, you bring up law enforcement. Tell us a little bit about what you're looking for in a new chief. We understand our chief is retiring and you'll be searching for a new one. Well, first of all, I want to wish him well. He did a good job here at the Laredo Police Department. We've got to look forward. We've got to select the chief of police uh, with uh, that's very seasoned, experienced, command experience, that's very professional, very ethical, accessible, uh, transparent, someone that can be held accountable, someone that will bring a police department uh, together, someone that will be a uniter, someone that will work together with all the multi-agencies that we have here. But I want a chief of police that's going to go out in the schools that will be seen, that will work hard to, to make sure that uh, this department continues to move forward, and someone that has good connections in Washington. My pre preference would be to have someone local you know, but we have to look at everybody, you know. We're an equal employment uh, opportunity employer in the city. But, you know, we have a great police department. We want to make it better. And, uh, but I would like to see a chief of police that's going to be out in the community, that's going to visit our senior citizens, that's going to be working with our kids. Our kids face a big challenges. So I think that's important. I think to have a chief of police uh, uh, to go out there and, and to be out there and be seen and be with the public. I think that's important. Thank you so much. And the search is already on for that. Absolutely. As well. We'll, we'll, get it, we'll get the process opening. Before I go, I just want to thank the people from LAPS. I think they've done a great job in this community. They've worked for decades. So I'm, uh, I just want to thank them. And we want to create an option for adoption okay. for, for our puppies. Thank you, Mayor. Thank and you cats, for joining too. Us. Okay. Thank you for joining us, Mayor.